So those were the two big things I would say that happened this week. Uh, also, what are you the... talking about? You forgot the biggest news this week of all. Which I think you were actually going to segue into. No, I probably wasn't because I was going to segue. There's a couple places, but I mean, you want to you, you, you want to talk about the big new discovery? I Is did. The... OK, well, the biggest, I did. I was excited. The, the biggest, the biggest new exciting news of the week is that they found a new primate. There's a new monkey. New monkey. They found a new monkey in, in Myanmar. The Popa Langur, named after its home in Mount Popa, is critically endangered with its numbers yeah, down to about soon. 200 individuals. They found a new monkey, and the new monkey is already facing extinction. This is going to go soon. Return cool to looking, monk, though. they say. But little did they know that we discovered it as it was on its way out. They're cute. I like them. Born to die. Oh, sorry, monkey. World is a fuck. They eat leaves. They're found across Southeast Asia. Uh, and it's got a distinctive spectacle-like eye patch. But they're at risk because of habitat loss and hunting. And uh, scientists have long suspected there might be a new species in Myanmar based on DNA extracted from droppings of wild monkeys, but evidence has been hard to find. New monkey alert. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is like, this is when you get like the notification that something is downloading in your download bar, and then before you can click on it, it's just the notification, you get the notification for it is finished downloading. This is like getting a new monkey discovered and then another notification just says, never mind. Just... World record any percent. <laughs> <laughs> to monkey extinction. <laughs> monkey. Extinction any percent. WR. Uh, I mean... But isn't that the most 2020 possible na natural it news It sure we is, Wally. It sure is. Like, the discovery of some new shit immediately followed by its, its fucking... Oh, it died. <laughs> its its speedrun fucking death is the most... It's the most 2020 you can get. So, you know. Oh, okay. Let's uh, let's not get it twisted here. Um, No, no. There's even bigger news this week, my friend. Bigger news than that. If you were worried about the state of Boruto, my friend, I was. I was. you need not be worried anymore. Why? Because Masashi Kishimoto is returning to claim the helm as writer on oh Boruto. My God. <laughs> oh my now I know God. what you're thinking. I know what you're oh thinking my out God. there. You're thinking, but wait, hold on a minute. Wasn't he up to something else? Uh, no. It yeah, seems. about that. <laughs> seems that he was up to nothing else. Nothing else happened. Don't worry about it. Kishimoto's coming back. And if you enjoyed your children with non-traumatizing fucked up childhoods just you wait <laughs> hard cut to him just grabbing all those characters and just just finding ways to just write it right in the right in the bin in the bin you go you know uh good memes good memeing there's some good meme in to come from this. All the characters childhoods like <laughs> getting dunked in the trash with like fucking like dunk contest level windmills um all all uh female characters all women in the story <laughs> just dunk contest from the fucking free throw like yep 
and uh in particular i enjoyed the um there's a good one are, are you familiar with uh the tough guy entrance meme i am not familiar with the tough guy entrance meme. tough guy entrance is a shot of a, of a man he's wearing some glasses and he walks into a room and just kind of stands there and like kind of poses and then it zooms yeah. in on his face and he's just staring at everybody um he was a piece of shit involved with the uh, the Paris attacks, and he was tending like a tough guy at, after a, a... Oh, I remember that guy. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Asshole, asshole Paris attack guy <laughs> who, like, who, like, let the people uh, stay at his place. And he's... And, and, and it's a tough guy pose. Yeah. Yeah. So people are just like, you know, Kishimoto walking back into the room after you heard no. you talking shit about Samurai 8. <laughs> that's... That's not what happened. That's... <laughs> That's not what happened at all. Oh. I legit can't think of any parallel to this situation ever. Where somebody left to do better things and then horribly failed and then came back and people were like, no, stay away. There has been Kojima trying to get away from Metal Gear from the director's chair ever since Snake Eater. But he never actually did. Um. Oh, Cliffy B, good one, good one, chat. <laughs> but like, who has stepped away from a work or handed the work off in some way? Because it is a different series, and then came back after the Hindenburg. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, man. Movies? Are there any movies where they're like? Oh well, they're okay. How about this? How about this? Um, Starship Troopers, right? Yeah. Didn't Vanderbeek leave for two and then come back for three straight to DVD? Oh, that might be true. That might have happened. But I he believe wasn't, like, it. Creative force, right? Oh, Star Wars. Uh -huh. There was yes, true. J.J. Abrams, true, true, true. Yeah. True, true, true. There's a, this is a bit tangential, but there's a really good like conversation your party members can have in Yakuza where they're walking down the street and they're like, so Ichiban, what was it like being in jail for like 20 years? He's like, well, when I got out, I, there was a bunch of manga that I wanted to catch up on. And then he's like, oh man, you must have had to go through a lot of volumes. Like, not really. It kept going on hiatus and uh, it's actually still going. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Fucking nailed. Oh my god. That's beautiful. <laughs> mm. That can apply mm. to Chef's Hunter, Kiss. Hunter. It can, it can apply oh, to Oh, that's Berserk. beautiful. And I can't think of anything else. It has to be one of those two. <laughs> it's something you care about. <laughs> it's something you care about. It's gone on hiatus. Can you imagine? It'll come back you eventually. Imagine getting out of jail after a 20 year stint and being like, Berserk! <sighs> Yo, what? What? <laughs> Your favorite manga is on hiatus. God, there's a there's a fucking hard drive article to to exploit the the premise on. Um, but anyway, uh, <coughs> excuse me. What? Uh, yes, I was gonna say that uh, Toriyama. I don't know if that counts. It doesn't feel, maybe it does, but it doesn't feel like it because GT effectively killed Dragon Ball. Oh, it sure did. So it doesn't feel like he, you know, but then it, but it, yeah, it, like if, if it kept going, if Super happened right after GT, it would have felt more like this type of situation, you know? But, yeah. uh, yeah. That being I, this said. It's awful for anybody that's enjoying Warto. I feel really bad. Hmm. Can I give can I give GT one like sideways compliment though? Super 17's a really cool design. Not just that. Or the okay. idea of fusing with yourself. Not not necessarily. And I, I, I you know, I'm not talking about that. Uh no. The overall on paper idea of making Dragon Ball resemble OG Dragon Ball a little bit more. Yeah. 
is a noble and worthy endeavor. On paper, the idea of making things go go back to how Dragon Ball kind of used to be is something that I don't hate, you know? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Just the adventures they happen to go on were fucking terrible. Saw so a fucking out of context uh, just shot of, of Yajirobe roasting Piccolo's brother. You're just like, fucking Dragon Ball was wild. Dragon Ball uh, is not. Dragon Ball is like, I, I think Dragon Ball is like a more consistently good manga than Z. I book. mean, yeah, it's just that Z was inventing Shonen as we know it, you know? Yeah. It was inventing the cool fight thing as we know it so like it was like in a time when we weren't like there were other fight manga certainly but like that particular formula you know um kind of uh uh, uh was was showing people like a whole new oh my god it's like it's the stands the stands mm -hmm. came in you know but yeah. og dragon ball had stories it had characters it had a charm there was a there was fun and goofy shit and Fights had, like, solutions that sometimes were, like, weird and technical and not necessarily just based Less on number. Less than big number. Yeah, big you know, um, um, Goku flying versus learning how to fly versus you having Nimbus versus feet Kamehameha's and, yeah, like, all kinds of little things but going on. You know on. what I really miss? I miss, mm -hmm. like, Goku running into a guy that was, like, a, a person. Mm-hmm. And that person just beat the shit out of him. Mm -hmm. Just beat beat his fucking ass in. And Goku was like, God damn it, I really gotta fucking get my shit together. And he usually learn like a thing. Or like train super hard with Krillin. To Toriyama gets to flex his best uh, abilities <laughs> when he's telling old school Dragon Ball stories. Right? When he's telling a bunch of goofy kids trying to figure out a a, a, a problem or meeting you know some weird new characters and shit like that like yeah he, he's he's at his best in that because as you know plague of gripes i feel like has has demonstrated many a times um when it gets to the the power battles it becomes really just like the the, the events start warping themselves to serve the battles as opposed to the battles serving the story you know but it's I think my favorite complaint Dragon Ball Eli ever really, really had was gonna break new ground on here. Like the breakdown of like everyone's like, "Wow, they're so fast! I can't follow with my eyes," and like all that shit. And it's like, "Well, how are they talking?" <laughs> like they're ostensibly moving multiple times faster than the speed of light. Hey, man, anime anime panel time is is not real. You just have yeah, to ignore I, but it. like I th I genuinely I'm gonna yeah. you got to ignore it. There are a lot of, I think my favorite Kamehameha ever is literally the one Goku does to Bulma's car. <laughs> the first one. You remember how crazy that was? Roshi did this fucking shit, and then Goku's like, yeah, I can do that. And they're like, well, okay, that one kind of sucked, but holy crap. You totally did do it. That was a good one. 